Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Sandwich Book of 1964, we're going to be making the grilled olive cheese sandwich. And no, the olives are not, not grilled. You'll see. To shredded American cheese, we add chopped up ripe olives, chopped up pimento, prepared mustard, that just means not dry mustard, salt, and grated onion. Get that mixed together. Put that onto our bread. Oh, but we're not done. Now we butter the outside. Okay, let's give it... Ah, just kidding. That's right, we're giving it the grilled cheese treatment. Okay, let's give this grilled olive cheese sandwich a go. It's actually pretty good. I thought the salt was gonna be a problem, but it's actually not. Of course, the pimentos, being a red pepper, bring a little sweetness. Um, but this is actually pretty good. I do wanna plus it up with one thing though. If you guessed dill pickle, you are right. Okay, let's give this grilled olive cheese sandwich plus up with some dill pickle, go. So got a little bit of the onion in there, of course. Now you've got this dill pickle. It's providing a little crunch, a little sharpness. Goes well with the mustard. Plays well with the cheese. Mm. So the original uh, grilled olive cheese sandwich was pretty tasty. It would have been probably even better with some sort of cheddar cheese or maybe a, a smoked gouda or something like that, but it was still tasty. I don't have a problem with American cheese like uh, some folks do. Um, that's American cheese I got from the deli, not the little plastic wrap ones. But it was good, good combination of flavors with the onion, the mustard, uh, the pimentos, and the salt, uh, even though I thought it was gonna be a problem, was not a problem. Just a good grilled cheese sandwich with some olives in it. I think I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that about a six and a half, maybe, you know what, seven, let's go seven. Uh, plus double the dill pickles, seven and a half. It is delicious, definitely gonna finish that. I'd make this again, why not? All right, see you tomorrow.